I'm at the gym. <laughs> Gyms can tend to be kind of expensive. If you're trying to stay in shape on kind of a budget, maybe look at your local recreation centers. The Westminster Gym here, about like an 11 minute drive, is really, really good. <laughs> Warm up on the treadmill before I hit the weights. Let's get to work. This is where it all starts. So the idea is I get some keys, go find the reporter they want me to work with today. I'm working with Greg Nieto. I'm just gonna grab this cart here. I just, yeah, they do have the good stuff. I just discovered, guys, the day after Halloween, it's the good stuff. That right there, photographer extraordinaire, David Michael Driver, baby. This is what we were rushing for, a press conference. I wanna thank everybody for coming. Press conference is over. At these press conferences, you run into a lot of people, like oh my, my friend Anna. This is too close, the lighting's not good. I'll fill you guys in. What actually happened was the police chief and uh, for Castle Rock, it's a town south of Denver, they had a little press conference. They told us about this big incident that's going on here in Castle Rock. Two boys in Castle Rock were pulled over for being out beyond curfew. Then the cops went to one of those kids' homes, peeked in, the cops noticed chemicals that could be used to create some kind of explosive substance. That led the cops to call the fire department. The fire department then called the bomb squad. The bomb squad then called the federal government unit and shutting down the whole house, pulling some substance out that apparently was explosive, blew it up behind the house on a golf course. Gotta go live now. Greg Nieto was there. He joins us live from Castle Rock with the latest. Greg? As bad as the outside of this home looks tonight, both firefighters and police say potentially, potentially, it could have been a lot worse. A word about file video. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Slow down, though. This is much better. Sorry about that. File video. Video from long ago. As a camera person, camera, camera gal, camera guy, whatever, we'll call you camera gal, you kind of want to shoot all your own stuff, but that doesn't always work out. Sometimes things like this explosion. That explosion was brought to you by one of our talented videographers, Brian. You can't redo that explosion. You reuse it. Uh, it's what we call file video. We'll go back sometimes, way, way, way deep. Like, way, way back when. I mean, there's file video of uh, uh, really, really righteous moments. Uh, the Martin Luther King speech, for example. That could be used as, that could be considered file video. When you think file video, reused video. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,